So, Mikitsa, the story is like this. The story is that um, in this week's parsha, Yaakov is coming home, and after the whole story of the whole story of him going into Charel. Charel means he's going into Makam Achoyshech, Makam Agolus, the place of darkness and exile. And then, and then he returns because it's Boika, it's ready to day. And the story of Vayishlach is first story of Vayishlach is that he oh. That the first um, the first story is that basically has a he has a struggle and um, he's coming back to he's coming back to, he's coming back home so he leaves as a ishtam he lives as a simple man or we'll call him like a, a singular a singular person a singularity ishtam means someone that's that's whole that's not affected by influence this is even the way Chazal understand Tamati Hashem so the Gemara Pesachim says that Tamim Hashem Lekecha, you should be pure, you should be Tamim, means that you're not influenced by all the stargazers and all the things like this, which means you're whole. You're sh- there's a certain level of 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 unity that you're not affected, that you're not influenced. This is one yeah, there, This is one level of Tam. But when Yaakov returns, he turns as the Yaakov Shalom, that he turns Shalom, he becomes complete. So Shlemus. Completion is very different than Tom, even though Tom generally means Tamimos, means completion, but it's a different type of Shlemus, a different type of completion. It's a completion that will include the Pratim. That's the difference. Now, one is a singularity to the exclusion of the details, and, w- and to the exclusion of the Makam HaKhoyshech. And the other one is um, a type of unity of Pratim, of details, into the Achtos. And this is what, what, what Vayivosa Yaakov Levadoi, when Yaakov is left alone, and Yaakov goes to the other side of the river for Pachim Ketanim. So, Vayivasi Yaakov Levadei, the Medrash says, Kinesk of Shemay Levadei. Vayivasi Yaakov Levadei means that he was alone, he was alone with Hashem. So, what means that he was alone with Hashem? So, the Pasuk says that there was no person there on the other side of the river. Vayivasi Yaakov Levadei, there was no one else there. And then, Vayivasi Yaakov then he was struggling with a man. So, the Avram ben Arambam, and from this, many, many Swarm talk about this idea that really Yaakov when it says that he's struggling with the Sar Shal Esav, he's struggling with the Prince of Esav, means the, the Sar Shal Esav within himself. It's like a, it's, it's an it's a inner struggle with his own self. And through this struggle, he becomes more Shalom. Even though enough Nagam Kafi Recha, there's some type of damage, but eventually he becomes Shalom and he reaches the Shlemus. But the, 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 the process of going through this process is that there is, there is a Vayavik, which means that there's Tvekus, which is Yichud. Is a type of yichud, and then he says, "I will not send you kim brachani only if you're going to going to give me a bracha." Right. So he asks this angel, the sar shalaisov, to give him a bracha. So it's the idea of yichud, and then and then it, and then he becomes shalom. Then he comes. Then he becomes complete. And, and Yaakov could say, "Yeshli kol." Yeshli kol is different than yeshli rav. He says that I have everything. Esav says that I have many things. Rav means pratim. Details. I have a lot of different things. This is Esav. That's the beginning of Esav. Yaakov says Yeshli Kol. Kol means I have everything. Everything is the inclusion of Pratim in the Klal. That's a that's the Kol means. Kol means the everything of, of the Pratim. So this is a structure. This is a structure. Okay. Another thing. So this is like a type of Shlemos. So you have Yichud and you have Bracha. The Megala Mukas writes in the beginning of this parsha that you see that it says that he sent arts of seir, seir that he sent to he sent <coughs> malachim to esav achiv the arts of seir really should say la'eret seir to the land of seir why is it arts of seir rashi means that anytime there's a hay anytime there's a lama in the beginning you can exchange it with a hay at the end so instead of saying la'eret seir you can say arts of seir which means to the land of seir adding the hay at the end is similar to having that lama in the beginning so rashi means that shem chazal but the question is, what's the haze? So the haze seems to be something like some type of hidden quality. And also when he says, <laughs> and, uh, 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 the, the total is uh, it means he has five five things. So, so, the, 
So he, he, he talks about a Bechina, a level of five. A five. Versus Esau is Dalad Me'es. He, he's coming with 400 men, which is a Bechina of Dalad. Um, so there's a difference between the Dalad and the He. Okay. So there's something, there's a, there's a big Indian which is connected to, the, to, to Maver Yavok. Yavok that, that Yaakov crosses over the river, and he crosses over the river that's called Yud Bey's Kuf. Yeah, that's Maver Yavok, um, which represents like a transition, going over a, a place to a different state, to being at a higher, a higher Madriga. There's actually a famous one of the that talks about, uh, about the afterlife process, the only Svarim that were written like this, is by one of the Mukbalim, it's called Maver Yavok. This represents a, a, a transition state. So in the Tukun Zoyer, in Tikl Chaval of the Zoyer says that in the in the Pasik when it says that Vayish Basim Ashvi, Hashem rested, and then Vayivorach Asim Ashvi, Vayikadesh Oisay, and then Hashem blessed it, uh, and then made it holy. So there's Vayish Bais, Vayivorach, Vayikadesh, right? There's resting, blessing, and Kiddusha. So these three things, so the, the Zoyer says, Vayish Bais, is the sitra the Yehuda? This is the sitra of this is the sitra. This is the side. This represents the idea of Yehud. A type of shvisa represents the idea of Yehud. The the next step, which is vayivarech, is sitra the brachusa. There's as a as a is the side of of bracha of blessings, and vayikadish is sitra the kedusha. Is 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 a side of kedusha. These three words represent the the word yavik because yavik is is a, is a rasha tevis yud beis kuf is Yehud bracha. Kedusha, Yichud Brach Kedusha is unity, represent unity, blessing, and sanctity. Yichud Brach of Kedusha. The Sant that also in Pikud Rebelezer, in Perik Shmoneh, in the 18th chapter of Pikud Rebelezer, we don't have this marker in front of you, but this is what it says over here. It talks about um, that David had this Kli Chemda, this 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 beautiful. Gift, this beautiful, precious vessel. And they want Hashem to give us the kedusha and the Shabbos, and then it says, Therefore, Hashem gives us six days of malacha of doing work. That on the Yom Ashvi, this bracha kedusha menucha, bracha kedusha menucha. Is Yichud Brach and Kedusha? It's not out of sequence, but Menucha represents Menucha means rest, which is a state of Yichud, and then there's Bracha and Kedusha. This is this is the, these are the three things. What's the, the simple simple definition of these three things? The first thing is Yichud means unity, to Meshaber with something, to connect with something. That's the first level Yichud. The second thing is the idea of Bracha. What is Bracha? Bracha. Means it means blessing, but bracha means something that mis, something that's misraba, something that's 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 that is is a continuous, something that's 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 um, that is uh, perpetuates. perpetuates exactly. In the, in the mitzvah it says mitzvah So the Gemara in Kedushin Afi says that when it, when it says the mitzvah of hanik tanik loy, that you have to give, it says that you have to give from mitzvah or from from your fruits or your produce or from your sheep. So the Gemara is doyrish. Hashem gives you a bracha. So the Gemara's Doyesh says that it has to, you can give him anything. You don't have to dafka give from Megarcha Vikvecha. You can give him anything, but it has to be similar, similar to the idea of, of these things. What's these things? Just like these, anything has a bracha. Just like these things are Misraba, right? Soyin is Misraba, gives, has children. Mikvecha, the fruit gives further fruit. The same thing also, the same thing also, the idea of, uh, of, the, of, Giving anything that you give for Hanik Tanik, for for Evet, for uh, for Anaka, the Mitzvah Anaka, you have to give something that's Misrab. So Bracha is the idea of something that's added, something that's continuously perpetuating. That's the idea of, of a Bracha. So this this idea of Yichu Bracha Gidusha is something that we're, try, we're going to try to understand. So first, let's learn from Darizal, Ariyak Kaddish, in Shara Psukim. See what he's necessary. Don't understand what this idea of Yechem Brachet Kedushim is. Yechem Alayla Huva Yaver Mavi So Yaakov is going, is uh, crosses one way, 
Then he has to cross back, obviously, right? He's crossing one, one side of the river. They got the pachim tanim. They got the small jugs, and then he's going to go back to the other side. Fadicha ki ki agaron, the garon, which is the place of the throat. Nasa migimol elkim de moich de kamas. That um, that uh, the garon, the place of the throat. Okay, so there's there's the head. Just like there's the physiology of the body. So there's the head, and then there's the heart. And then from the heart, it, it goes to the covet, Melech Lev covet, right? So it goes from the Melech Lev covet. That's the, 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 the sequence. It goes from the heart, from the mind, to the heart, to the liver. And that, so the liver represents the world of Maisa. So it goes from the Machshava to the Dibur to the Maisa, from the thought, to the speech, to the action. This is the way, this is the way a, healthy, a healthy flow would happen. But there's sometimes where there is a constriction in the garden. What does it mean there's a constriction in the garden? Which means that there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a separation between what a person understands and the way a person feels. Or sometimes it also works the other way. Sometimes you feel something, you just don't understand why you're feeling this. So there's a separation between these two things. This represents, this is the idea of pare. That pare is Lashon Oyref, the backside is separated, which means that the, 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 the three... The three sorry pare, the three uh, ministers of pare, which is the sar hamashkin, sar oifim and sar tabachim, which is the, the minister of, of drink, uh, sar, and the minister of, uh, of of bread of food, and the minister of meat, sar tabachim. These represent these three constrictions of name of lakim, which they represent the kana veshet of rhythm. The kind of rhythm is, let's say, the, the, the windpipe, the, the, the food pipe, the trachea, etc. And the rhythm is like the veins. So what connects the head with, with the heart, which allows for the, for the movement, is when there's a clean kind of rhythm, when the, the movement goes very, very clean. In, in the Kisri, the, the, the idea of the veshet is taking things from the outside, then it becomes dumb, it becomes your blood, and then it rises up and it gives oxygen, etc. To, to, to the brain whatever it does. So that's the movement of up. Um, the, 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 the kana is to draw down the, the kreeris of the moyach, like the, the, the coldness, but like the, to, the, to the heat of the heart, sort of to make like a healthy movement from the, from the head to the heart. The vridim is the opposite, to bring the heat from the lev, the lav, the, the fire of the heart, to bring the heat back into the mayach, which is the careers of the mayach, the coldness of the brain. And what you have then is you have a perfect balance between these things, and the movement is going very clean. When, when it talks about the sorry pare, when it's talking about the, the three, when it talks about the three ne- name levels of elikim, three constrictions of the name of elikim, elikim represents the midas adin, the, mid, the attribute of, of constriction. Elikim is 86. So, so three times 86 is 258 with the, with the, with the, with the coil is 259, which is the gematria of the word garan. So as the same numerical value as the word garan. So the three constrictions of name of Likim means when there is there's no correct passageway between the moyach and the lev, between the heart. The heart is separated from, from, the, from the mind, the mind is separated from the heart. This is what, this is what when we talk about that in Mitzrayim, there was a constriction, there was a golas hadibur, the Zohar says, or the Ari calls it the Golas Adas, the, the, the constriction of Das, what this actually means, what this means is that sometimes you know something, you know about the, the idea. I say, I, I, I know what I have to do in this world, I just don't act that way. That means that there's a, a blockage between what your heart, your, heart your, your mind understands and your heart feels, right? That means I can conceptually understand it as the idea, this is what I should be doing, or something's in your heart, you know what you should be doing, but your mind is like telling you, okay, I'm lazy, I'm this, I'm that, and other thing, that you don't want to do it. That means there's a, sep- there's a separation. The lowest separation is when you actually know what you should be doing, maybe even feel in your heart, you can't, but you can't express it. So when you can't express it, that's like the dibur, this constriction of speech. Like, I can't really express what I really feel, what I really should be doing. So again, these, all, these levels represent the constriction. This is what the, the, the mitzorim, the constriction of Parai, of the Sarim of the Sarim Mitzrayim, of these three Sarim represent constriction, which are the three names of the name of Elikim. Okay, so these are the three. The three. Then, Kishenichnesu Amoichel Shalavi is the Gadlus. Avachak Shal Yoridim Gimel Avi is Shal Gimel the Gadlus. Kish Spatim Toich Zah Hey Yoridim Derech Agar O Mislapshon Toich Gimel Elikim Shal Gadlus. So what happens is that the three, it, just like there's a three level of Katnus constriction on the level of Elikim that separates the mind from the heart. 
there's going to be the tikkun of that, which will be the three levels of Shem Hashem, Shem Havaya, which incidentally, this is why Shem Hashem in three, in three times is Gematria 78. This is why you dip challah in salt three times, according to the because that's the idea of three times is Lechem is also 78, so it's a three times Shem Havaya, three times the name of Hashem. So the, the name Hashem is represents Midas Adin, Midas Rachmim, compassion. So in the Midas Rachmim of these three names of Aviyah, Enter into the into the three nem- levels of Alakim, They break open these constrictions of the name Alakim, and then there's a com- complete flow from the moich to the left, from the heart, from the mind to the heart. Which of the avaya is that of being mamtik the Alakims? The avaya of chachma. Okay. Which, uh, You'll see soon. I'm going to say soon. Kol avia min. You go from slapshem to gimel Alakim shem garin. But kol avia min gimel. Be slapshem to Alakim. He be gemati yabek. So when there's a there's a yichud between shem avaya and shem Alakim, Shem Avaya is 26, Shem Elikim is 86. When there's a yichah between Avaya and Elikim, which means that the Shem Avaya is mapped to the Shem Adin, which is Shem Elikim, then you have the yichah between 86 and 26 is 112. Right? So that's Shem, yud, that's the Gematria of Yud Beis Kof. So when it says, Vayakam Balayla Vayavar Mavar Yavok, that's what it's talking about. Nimsa Kya Gar Nikra Mavar Yavok. The Garn itself, the throat is actually called the mavar, the, the, the passage place of Yud Beis Kuf. But the and 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 when it when there's a constriction on that on that hamshacha, and there's there's not the, the hamshacha cannot pass through, then it's the mitzarim of mitzray of the of the of the sarim mitzrayim, and they, they're constricting, they're not allowing it for the seichel to go into the midas. And when there's hamshacha of the moichin, uh, the 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 the, the, the havias, then there's a breaking open this. Okay, that the Yaakov who are Oris are Yisoy the Abba. Yaakov is connected to Oris. She yoyts the chutz. Nezer. She shall not have parts of Yaakov. There's only the, the building of the parts of Yaakov. There's the parts of Yisoy and the parts of Yaakov. Not so again now, but it's, in other words, it's building something that's lower. There's the parts of Yisoy uh, of Yisoy and Rachel and Yaakov and Leah. So this means that it's it's entering more into this world. When it says that it was that he crossed the river of Yalok, it means it means now that he he was able to draw down from the highest madrega to the lowest madrega. That's the simple the simple the simple meaning of this. Now, what you ask is this is what the, the next the other shtickle over here we have from Nari brings down a little bit different. He's a little bit. He's explained this a little bit more, and he says like this in. Um, so he says, okay, This is why Yaakov is called Boikea. Yaakov is Yibaka. That's the word Yaakov comes from. Yibaka is the Yud is Baka. So the Yud is Moyach the Chachma. Which means that the, for a higher level of intelligence, Baka pierces through and allows for the revelation into the lower world. Okay, wait. Um, is the three levels of Elikim. is the three level of Avias, right? We just said that, right? So the three Avias, the three levels of Yud Kevavke, is what pushes aside the word Garen. And allows for the it pushes aside the konavesh and rhythm of the clip of pari that doesn't allow for the flow from the go from the moich to the lev. The chol avim etekas alikim who you say the abba boykei of oivel as a moich and the gadol is the katan chutz bechaz lamata and then and then it becomes mavi yavak. Then he says gam da ki yesh dal mini yavak. There's three forms of this shame. There's four. I'm sorry. Aleph who avia elikim. That's the simple one. Is avia elikim. Which which what he which was what he was talking about up until this point. So Avi and Alikim is twenty six and eighty six is one hundred and twelve. That's the first level. Then there's also which is also a no, more known one, which is Eka, Havaya, and Adnai. Eka, Havaya, and Adnai represent three steps, um, which could be also Kesser, Tiferes, and Malchus. Huh? Kavanos the Maker, correct? Kesser, Eka, Havaya, Adnai, which also represents is twenty one, twenty six. Uh, 65 is again 112. That's the second one. The third one is already Avia Biruba Milo Oilo Kufpe Dalad. Is when you do okay, and we're not going to talk about that one, but it's it's oh, yud, it's okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yud Vav Dalad, hey Yud, hey Yud Vav, it's 186. If you take out the, the Shem Av, you get you get also to, to 112. And then the third one, the fourth one is Biru Kaze, Yud, Yud, hey, he spells it out. He's going to also Yavak. Okay, those two we're not going to talk about, the first two we are. This is Bikitsa 
what the idea of this name represents. So it's some type of yichud of shiluv, some type of connection between between Shema Lakim and Shema Avaya, right? That the Avaya, the, the Avia, Shema Avaya, the name of Hashem sort of penetrates the Shema Lakim and breaks open the din. That's that's one one thing. And also it's connected with the Shem Eke, Shem Shem Avaya, and Shem Shem Adnai. Okay. And 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 the big the clawless more, if you take it if you take it out of the names, it represents Yichud, Bracha, and Kedusha. Okay, so there's two this two general this two general uh Mahalchem, there's two general ways that we understand this. Um we're not gonna get into the Baruch is the first path. But the second path we'll get into more Baruch is the first path is this the is the is the is the way the Ramchal understands it, Yichud Bracha Vikdusha. And also the Gro the Gro goes with the similar Mahalach like the like like, like the Ramchal. And um, and this is what this is what the way it's framed. This idea of Yichud Bracha and Kedusha. That the Gro doesn't use this language, Ramchal does, but he uses a different language, but it's the same idea. There's always a question of Yidiyah and Bechir, right? Yidiyah means the all knowing. Um, and Bechir means a place of choice. Also, another way of saying this is that there is an Hagas Hayichud and Hagas Hamishpat. An Hagas Hayichud means from the big picture v- vision of creation, everything will get to its point. Everything has to get to its, its, its destination. And that's the way Hashem is, uh, we talked about this a little last week, everything is moving in, that, in that direction. No matter what's happening in the world, from the bigger point of view, from the from the, from the perspective of Yichud, that have, everything is working towards the place of Yichud, everything is actually working towards the place of Yichud. Every deviation, every every single event that happens in history, if you, if you pull it and you look at history in, in a bigger picture, you'll see that everything is leading up to some type of Yichud. And it's getting, it's getting, Progressively stronger and stronger in the stand, in the sense of yichud. The world, if you just look at like very superficially, not that I'm not that they talk in this language, but if you look very superficially, the world is becoming much more interconnected. Okay, that's like the very very simple level. Uh, you know, if you lived hundred years ago, you lived in one little shtetl, you didn't know the next person lived in the other shtetl. You lived, uh, you know, eighty years ago, and uh, you know, no, I'm sorry, two hundred years. You lived hundred years ago, then you had the locomotive. You can actually travel by train. Then you had a little further, you can travel by by car. A little further, you can travel by plane. Okay, and now you can travel by spaceship, whatever. This is everything is becoming, and virtually also, this whole the virtual reality, everything's interconnected. So, on on the superficial level, you could see that the world is moving towards a place of yichud. So there's a lot of messing, messy things going on in this world, but from the bigger picture, if you look, pull back, and you say, okay, I'm not looking at this detail, that detail, other detail, look at the general perspective of creation, the world is walk, you, moving towards the place of Yichud. From the place of Yichud, from the Anhagas HaYichud, um, there's no place of, there's no real uh, free choice. Let's, let's, in simple language. In other words, it's not like there's no free choice. It's not a gay your free choice. It doesn't matter what you choose. Anyways, you get to the same point. It's like if I say, I need you to get from here to here. How you get it, it doesn't matter. What's the difference? You, you, you jump, I don't care. You fall. You're going to get, at the end of your life, you're going to get to this point. Right? So Hashem says, I, you, you're put in this world, you're getting from here to here. If not this life, next life, other life, whatever. Something's going to work out. Eventually, you're going to get there. Right? So you can just knock your head in your head, you know, knock clap cup and vont. You can just knock your head in the wall, but eventually, you're going to actually get to that place. That's the, the perspective of the Hagas HaYechud. This concept of an Hagas HaYechud, this the, the, the concept of, of the of the place of Yechud, is really the idea of Shabbos, right? Because Shabbos represents, we said, the Vayishpais is, is Menucha. That's why the, the Prikid Eliezer calls it Menucha. Menucha Yechud Bracha, or yeah, Bracha Vikdusha. Rabbi Kadosh Yisai, Yivorach Yisai, and there's the Menucha, Vayishpais in Mashiach, Kamal Achta. Vayishpais, the idea of Vayishpais, Menucha means rest, Rest means komalach chasuya. There's nothing to do. Komalach chasuya means that I did everything. I did everything means there's nothing for me to do. I, it's 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 the, the act is already completely done, right? There's nothing. For, there's nothing to happen. That's the place and the place. That's why we're shavus on Shabbos. Why is a person shavus on Shabbos? Why is a person rest on Shabbos? What's the deeper understanding why you're resting on Shabbos? Because you're resting on Shabbos. You're saying that it's already complete from the place of Yichud. Rather the Shabbos, that the, the the secret of Shabbos is that it's it's Amad Yichud. It's 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 the place. Of, it's a place of unity. If it's a place of one and it's Yichud, there's nothing for me to do. What am I doing? There's nothing for me to do. I'm there already, right? So komalach chasuya means everything is done. Everything done means not only on on a on a on a physical level, but also on a spiritual level. Everything. That's why I, I, that even even a, 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 a there's there's a there's a there's a concept that Shabbos everyone 
if you enter the Shabbos, you enter into the place of of Yichud. Then there is the place of the bracha. So this is this Yichud, bracha, and kedusha. What's the place of bracha? Bracha is the place of anhagas hamishpat. Bracha is the place of bchira. It's the place of free choice. Bracha means Ashabar Lakim Lases, Hashem created the word Lases is Latakin, to create a tikkun of this world. What does it mean that bracha? I'm ma- I am creating more. It's a ribui. Saying, I'm taking the world as it is, I see the world as it is, and I'm adding something to it. I'm misrab of this world. I say that I, through my free choices, I can change the course of creation. I can change the course of my life. That's the place of my bchira, even though as I am created. You know, these are my genetics, these are my parents, this is my upbringing, etc., etc. I can make free choice to change the course of this of my life, which is uh, means I'm misrabah something. David, that's part of a rabba, right? It's soin and yakif. That's the idea of the bracha, something that's misrabah, something that's can add. Adding means that I actually have a potential to, to create something. So the the, the, the place of the yichud is on Hagasai Yichud, the place where I can't do anything, it's Shabbos. The place of the misraba, the place of the bracha, is the place where I am continuing something, which is the place of the choyl, the place where I am participating in creation. So then what is what is the place of Kedusha? The place of Kedusha is the is the is the place where through my Pchira is revealed a higher dimension of Yichud. Like we said before, how so? Because through my Pchira now Pratim become part of the achtas. Details become part of the one. In other words, there's a singularity, right? The Ebesh is a singularity, Kaviachal, whatever we understand the Ebesh. So the Ebesh is, is a singularity. Singularity means the exclusion of all multiplicity. Creation is the place of multiplicity, of division. When we say, Hashem means that Hashem's oneness will be revealed in the multiplicity of creation. So in the multiplicity of details, They'll become a achtas of all the pratim, the, the the unification of all details into a higher cloud. There's cloud prat, a cloud, a cloud, uh, and, and a cloud that comes after the pratim, right? There's a principle of the details and the principle that comes higher than the details. That is a chiddush in the bria. That's the chiddush. That's actually the, the kavanas of it. That's actually the intention of the creation. The, crea- the intention of the creation is that it shouldn't be a sheer pashat. It should be a sheer maruba, right? It's the, the same idea. It shouldn't be a single a singular tune. It, the, the ultimate level of, of sheer of sheer is a sheer maruba means it's a, a multiple tune. A multiple tune has a, a tune of four letters. So in some some conception, let's say in, in Kavanas in Kavanas Krishna, so the, the idea of like there's the Atzilus is Yud, then Yud He, yud, then Yud K it becomes Bria, and Yud K Vav is Yitzira, and Yud K Vav K, the, the five letters is an Asiya. Now Yud is not a name of the Ebesher. It's nothing. Yud Kevavka is the name of Hashem. So Dafka the name of Hashem is Dafka in Asiya, Dafka in the lowest. And the answer is yeah, because where does where is Nizgala? Where does actually reveal the ultimate infinity of the Creator in the multiplicity of the creation, which seems to be the finite and in the finitude of creation? That's where is revealed the multi- the oneness in the, in the multiplicity of everything. Still reveal the oneness. That's the that's the Chiddush, right? That's the novelty of creation. That's why there's a lashon in the in the um, um, there's a lashon in 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 uh, in Mesulos Yisharim that kedusha is tchilase avoyda v'soifa and and v'soifa gmul, which means other mekachem at lamata mekachem oisam lamayla kadosh atomat mat lamayla if a person is mekadosh atzmoi kedusha means I am participating, right tchilase avoyda I'm participating in the creation I see the kedusha and everything and ultimately what's revealed. The Saifa Lugmul, the Saifa is the Gmul, is like the end of time. It's revealed how my Kedusha became part of Kedushim, Kedushim to you, Kikadashani. That the Kedusha is the Kikadashani. That my Kedusha added. That my Pchira, actually, Kaviachal, added a wrinkle in the Achtas Hashem, so to speak. Okay? This is like paradoxical, but that's that's the that's the perspective. So, so Yichud Brach and Kedusha. From this, from this, from this perspective, means it's the movement from a singularity that's yichud to bracha, which is a multiplicity, right? The, the riboy, that's the idea of bracha, to the idea of kedusha, which is the riboy, the pratim back into the achtas of one. This is bederach. This is bedaf, This is this is the chlal. This is the way the grand Ramchal understand re, read into this idea of yichud bracha kedusha. And it's it's in many. It's it's in you find it in the other places that we're where it's talked about. These are the th- these are the three matters. Who is this revealed by? This is revealed Dafke by Yaakov. 
This is revealed by Yaakov. This, this shtickle you don't have, and I'll read it very quickly to you. This, this is revealed by Yaakov because the, the, the Tikkun, so there's Vayikadosh, there's Vayishva, there's Vayivorech, Vayikadosh, right? And if you look in the Bereshit Srabah, the Medrash also says, that when it says in the beginning of the creation, that the 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 the, 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 the it kept double, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So the bracha is that it's misraba, the gedusha that it goes back into the place of the yichud. It didn't come. You understand? So the bracha reached the least level of kedusha. In other words, it's misraba to the point that's menucha. You understand the, the, the paradox? It goes from the bracha to from the place of the kedusha. You're following? So this is the idea that it's moving from the place of the of many to Rebbe back back into the place of Achdus. When Yaakov receives the bracha from Yitzchak, there's a, there's a beautiful shtickle from here from the from the Ari Sefer Lukutim in Tolis. It says that when he see, received the bracha from Yitzchak, so the Medr says Metal Shemayim. That's why you don't Metal Shemayim. Metal Shemayim. Metal is the mon. Metal Shemayim is Zua Mon. This is what the Medr says. And the Rabbah says the same thing. The Ramachal and Oitzah says, and B'Shalach says that the Pshat is that originally something starts off as mot, as 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 tal, and then it becomes mon when it comes down into this world. But it represents the same idea. Um, not to get into a long big ariches, but this shtickle you can look later. The Arizal talks about that that there was a Lamed Tes Klolis, the thirty nine Klolis, thirty nine curses that that happened to Adam Machava. And that's communion Malkus, that's communion that's you get Malkus for the, the, the lashes that a person gets is a 39, a Bon Chasa Aleph. And that represents Kiriz Batman the Tal Oyer Shiyorim, because there was a bit of the Tal Oyers. The Tal. The Tal is the man. There was a bit of the Tal Shemaim. There's a bit of the Tal. And Yaakov, Kital Recha Kital Echa, and therefore Chazal Lamai, and Yaakov didn't have them. Yaakov was, um, the world was getting worse and worse. And no one was able to Hashem and believe the Shalom. No one was able to serve Hashem properly. So Avram, Hashem's the first rectification, the tikkun of that original chet Eitzada started with Avram, but who hischilat sakin. So therefore, but loyhayachol Avram letakna legamri. Ya- Avram didn't have it taken completely. L'chein yotza v'menu Yishmol. Therefore Yishmol came out of Avram. So he didn't reach a tikkun. Same thing Yitzchak. Mitzat tahar v'gedusha mitzat Avram v'yohoi v'kamu v'takim l'klipiz v'yohoi v'lakim l'gamri v'yotza m'esav. He had Esav. At Shabbat Yaakov v'yinu Allah v'shalom when Yaakov came v'tikkun o'ilom l'gamri kol ma'sho hichir v'adam erishin Yaakov was metakin everything that that Avram mission that that was ruined. Vazim tei oil mismaitem b'shul akolaz. So therefore, in the place of lamatas klolaz, he got tal brachas. We don't believe tal hashemayim. V'chaza tal oil l'smaila. And Yaakov got these brachas, these these tal brachas. And therefore, or keneged, and what it says b'zis apecha techalechem that the Hashem tells other mission that you're going to work with a lot of toil. Yaakov is barach b'degem v'sir. Yaakov is. It was that you're going to get uh, your your vegetation is going to be good. You're not going to be zayis kapecha. It's not going to be hard. Kenek mashes kaka olam yishim koitz v'dar the tatzin loch bovin is barach v'tal shemayim. Say it's a koitz v'dar there instead of thorns. You're going to get tal. And then he says because uh, Adam was mishil ishto sheichil modem meitzah das tevera. He was the, the the downfall came because of because of his wife because of Chava. Here the tikkun this barach ayidei isha shirifka. Here he got the bracha through rifka, and. Um, and it goes on the, the same thing also. Um, that's where he, that he gets fighted. That when it's talking, I call it the Yaakov. That's called Shufa the Yaakov means Shufa the Adam Rishon. That's what Chazal say that the Shufa the Yaakov, the beauty of Yaakov, is like the Tikkun of Adam Rishon. So Yaakov was metaken this thing. This goes back to what the idea of the of the of the Yichud Bracha Kedusha that Yaakov reached the highest level of Yichud Bracha Kedusha when he was able to make a Yichud with all the Pratim of his life. On the level of Yichah Brachah Kedusha, therefore he was able to metak and it goes back to the goes back to the original. So where yeah. That ticket was, was permanent? No. Oh, that yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's obviously really, not. Really, really it cool. was it yeah. was it was permanent for Yaakov. Oh, so it was, it was, it was his own. It was his own ticket. It was his own avoid of a ticket, and this therefore Yaakov is taka. Yaakov is Yaakov Vidolay Mess. 
So you have Tal Oiris, you know, Tal, that the Tchias and Mesim happens to the Tal. Tal, the, the, the Yishalmi says, to, 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 to the Tal. Tal Nenetza, if you learn in the Gemara, uh, the Ruch is the Tal Nenetza, the beginning in Tainas talks about that Tal is Lenetza. Tal represents like this mythical type of, th- type of quality. Tal, Tal, the Yishalmi says, brings Tchias and Mesim. Yaakov experiences immortality. Yaakov, only on Yaakov it says Yaakov and Lemes. Because he represents the Tiklan for himself. It wasn't a tikkun for, for the whole world, but Yaakov reached that level of the tikkun on the level of yichud brachik kedusha, which means he was able to nichol the kedusha back to the original yichud, and he was able to include everything, and therefore, on the level of Yaakov, he reached that madrega. Okay, this is uh, this is this is the way we're reading this idea of yichud brachik kedusha of shem yud beis kuf shem yabuik, in terms of like. Uh, reading it through history, so to speak, right? You're reading it through time. That there's there's an hugus, there's a way of, of Yichud Hashem, which is the, the oneness of Hashem that's always being expressed, no matter the details. There's no there's no there's no bechir, there's no choice. Always Hashem's Yichud will always be is going to be manifest. There's a place of a person's choice, where a person has has has, has choices. Mevarech is misraba, where a person is doing choice. And then there's the the, the, the third thing is is the is the is the which is the idea of the kedusha, which is like you you do the work, and then this is nichol in the higher level of yichud, which is the gemara tikkun. So the gemara yichud, the gemara yichud is the ultimate time of Mashiach. Are we also okay? saying that Avram is like the echad haya Avram? Echad is the one is like could be yud, it could be the yud of Yabok, the yeah, yichud, could be. and could be. Could be. could be. He could say that, Galim. Because only until because the Rizal doesn't tell us about your book until yeah, that, it's it's a good word, yeah. it's a good word, yeah, you could say that. But you see, you see the bracha there. It says Verechel. It says bracha over there. Yeah, it's sure. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's always good. Now understand there's a little bit. Uh, I think there's two. In, a, in terms of the Tzayis of Al Shem, how to understand these these names. Of Yichud Brach and Kedusha, we can understand this a little bit, a few different ways. Um, what is Yichud? What is Yichud in Torahs of Hashem? So I'm just gonna we're gonna read a few a few Torahs, and you'll see that he's Makasha with the different names. But to understand what is the idea of a Yichud, what does it mean that a person is doing a Yichud? In Torah's Shem, like as we said many times, it's not a Torah of Zman, it's a Torah of Nefesh. Right? So there's a Torah of Zman, there's a Torah that's interested in time, to see history. This is a lot with the Gro is very interesting. That's why you have a lot of Talmudia Agro. Isaac Hover and the Leshem, they're very interested in seeing the, the scope of history through that lens, to understand patterns of history. Again, the Dermachal has a Shem, it's a this idea as well. But in Torah's Shem, Torah's Chsidus, it's about the Nefesh Adam. Like, what's the, where is a person holding internally, in your internal life. Forget about what's happening in history. Forget there's all nice things. There's yichud, brachik, dushik, gvalik. But what's doing, how do you make yichud in your own life? What does yichud mean? So in the Torah of Hashem, yichud is, is not an anhaga of a Baruch Hu, It's not saying that yichud means this is the way Hashem is. But yichud means I'm making yichud. I have to do something yichud. Now the, the, you find that in the Torah as, as well. But in Torah Sari, it's a more conceptual idea, more intellectual, like a, a cerebral idea. And in Torah of Hashem, it's more an avoidedic thing. It's like an inner work process. To make a yichud means you should do something inside yourself to make a type of yichud. So I'll read a few Torahs over here and I'll understand them. Shemayit B'Shem Mori, this is the Taldus first in the year. We said this a few weeks ago that the beautiful thing about the Taldus, like the Degel and some of the early Chesed Shesvarim, is that they quote from Mori, they quote from the Balsham. So this is how we have the Torahs of Balsham, a lot of the Torahs of Balsham we have from, from this form. Shemayit B'Shem Mori, Pir Shalpasi, Kol Hashatim Suyidach B'Kari Chasei. It's on the left column of Pechas. Yeah. So the Medrash says, there's a Medrash, it says that uh, this represents Chanoich, that he was Miyached, we spoke about this one? Yeah. Yeah. He became, he became Matad. After he was Miyached, he became Chanoich, he became Venena, so Venena becomes, he becomes Sarah Shalolam. What was the avoid of Chanoich? What does Chanoich do? He stitched, he was a cobbler, he stitched the top of the shoe, the bottom of the shoe, which represents the idea of a yichud. The machshava, here's the noise of the machshava, nikr ain't soif. Havia. The machshava represents the, the, the infinity. What shadow represents the infinity in the man? Lefiach, in, in comparison to the world of action, your thoughts are endless. 
Imagination. Imagination, your thoughts, you can go, you can dream, be in any place. This is the world of Machshava, is the world of, of infinity. Never stops. Never stops. Machshava, Tomid. It continues, but it's more like it's, 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 you know, when Chazal talk about Mayim, and it says that it's a Mayim, it's a water you can see. The Gemara Yavamas talks about like water. It says it's called Mayim Shalom Saif. Mayim Shalom is Mayim that doesn't work. It doesn't mean it doesn't have a way. It means, it means it's, it's infinite in your capacity to, to comprehend it, to see it. You don't see the end. This is Machshava. Machshava is like an ain't Saifius. Um, it's also in Sophius, another point. It's also in Sophius because it lacks it lacks um, form. It lacks it lacks um, it it can be mislabish, it can enter into the world of Tsura, right? Into the world of form. It can choose to think about this particular thing, but it's never that particular thing. Therefore it can always separate from itself. Right? When you think about a something, even if you're thinking about a certain something, it's only a something in your mind. And the moment you stop thinking about that something, that something doesn't exist. So the, the definition of, of seichel is a, a level of, of detachment from things, from actual things. It's just a conceptual idea of... So in, in a way, it's, it's ain't soifius because it doesn't have a tzura. It doesn't have actual form. It's, 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 it, sh- it could mislabish a form. And an action is a form. An action is an action. It's a chaymer. It's abstract. It's abstract. Correct. Once you put it into a form, it doesn't exist anymore? It does. It does. It, 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 it exists as that, but then you could stop thinking a thought or change the thought, change the form of the thought, right? right? So it means you can infinitely play with it. You can say, "I'm thinking about a table," and a thought, and then I could take the table can come a chair. So I can, I can, I can reimagine anything. It's, it's, it's. There's a level of detachment, abstraction in the level of thought. So therefore, it has, it has a residue of the idea of ain't soifius. Va'maisu shem adnai. So here, the the, the, the Balshem is, is taking shemus and making them very. Mukhshis, very practical. Why? Shem Avaya is is the is Machshava person. Why? Sh- Why is Avaya Machshava? Because because it, it's, it's 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 infinity. You'd give off. It's infinity. However, yeah. So it represents infinity. It represents something that's that's ain't soifius. Shem Adnai Alav Dal Nunyud is already a Maisa. Why? Because Loika Shem Shin Ani Nikra Ani Nichtav. Today we 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 write the name of Hashem and pronounce the name of Hashem differently. What does that mean? It means the kli of Shem of of, of of Hashem's name, the kli Hashem is Adnai, right? The kli of the name of Hashem, kli 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 Adnai, kli Hashem is actually the same numeric value as the word Lukim also. So the vessel of Avaya, the vessel of of, of Yud Kevavke is actually Lukim, right? So the way you uh, uh, is uh, but not something else. Here we talk about Shem Adnai. Is the is the name of Adnai is is the way it's pronounced is the is the is the kli that holds the name Yud Kevav So that's the Maisa Kaviachul. That's like the world of action. That's already that's the way I pronounce it. That's the way I relate to it as Aleph Dal and Union. Keshemechabra Maisa Machshava Beis Asiyas Hamaisa. What is what is Yichud? Yichud means Yemeschaber Hamaisa Machshava Beis Asiyas Hamaisa. That's Nikar Yichud Kuchu Bichav Shchintei. That's what Nikar Kuchu Bichav Shchintei. When I'm when when I'm able to attach my thought to my action, when I never do a thoughtless action, when every time I'm doing something, I'm doing it with intention and mindfully. What I'm actually doing inwardly, I'm making a Yichud between Yud Kevavke and Shem Adnai, right? Because if Yud Kevavke is is my Machshava, Adnai is my Maisa. If I attach thought to action. Then I'm actually creating an inward yichud. What does it mean to do bekoichacha? Anything that you could do with your koyach, you should do. The machshava is the thought of a person is actually called chachma, which means the koyach the potential of what? Yeah. Let's go to the next page. This is this is this is what these chazas are over a little bit different. A few, a few parshas later, in parshas Yeshu, and and when he's talking about this, when the Tolis is talking about between Yosef and Yehuda, so Neil of Adar Shakasaft Bishem Mori again, he's he's quoting his Rebbe, the Bal Shem Akadosh. Bira Pasuk Kol Hashatim Si Yidach Latzav Bakoich Hasei Ki Sha Oisa Maisa Gashmi U Mekashrei Im Machshava L'Maila B'Das Elyon, and your Machshava is with Das Elyon. So here's a little, a little bit more. Not just your machshava, your, your machshava to das elyon. Das elyon means like what's the highest? What's the the what is the real thought? What's the real thought that I should have wanted to do this ma'isa? Let's say I'm doing an action. I'm saying okay, I'm I'm a kasha, my machshava to ma'isa means I'm knocking in a nail and I'm I have intention to knock in the nail. That's givaldic. That's one level of yichud. But the higher level of yichud is to say why am I knocking in this nail? 
If I understand the reason why I'm doing it, okay, obviously because you want to build a home. But if you say, I have a bigger, there's a Das Elian there. There's a higher awareness here. Das Elian would be, why do I want to? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Exactly. What's the Das Elian here? I need a home so I can have my family could live there and they could do mitzvahs and they can raise a, a beautiful Yiddish family. So if I, if, I, if I know why I'm doing it, then I'm a kasha, my maisa, not into machshava, to the Das Elian. Right, so I'm saying that is the ultimate. So there's a little a little wrinkle in this idea. It's not only the machshava, the thought, but what's the das elyon over here? What's the kavan over here? What's the intention? Why am I doing this action? So this is this is this is Malchus is a scene which is Yehuda. Why do Malchus have a das? Nikki Yosef. Okay. Because Rav Kuntz is a Achim. Meshem Mari. Ki Meshiach was said a das. Was said a chia. Meshiach was said a das. Was said a chia. Because what is Meshiach? What is the Nakud and that and that's why it's it's it, it's so that here there's the secret of resurrection, the secret of giving life. The secret of giving life is Das. What's Das? Das is awareness. En ku, en little das. In other words, if a person has Das, they have Chayas. The reason why we're like a days ago, the reason why a person doesn't have Chayas, is because they're not sure why they should have Chayas. Let's say, for example, a person says, I have a, a tremendous desire to make money. Okay, let's let's lead so this is a thing. And you have a big, strong, strong connection to making money. You're gonna wake up every morning like a like a like a lion to make money. Right? Why? Because you're you're being informed by this awareness. And I'm not saying it's a good, good awareness, a bad awareness, it's an awareness. The, the stronger you have an awareness of why you're living, the stronger you live. The more highs you have in living. The reason why people walk around and they're apathetic and, and, and lackadaisical and, and, and completely disinterested in this world, which is unfortunately one of the great illnesses of this generation, because people don't know why. Why am I alive? It seems like it's just an, an accident. An accident, my parents, you know, it's, it's an accident of, of a, a genetic accident. So because they don't have a why, therefore they walk around with machayas. The moment a person lives and understands why they're alive, this triya. So when talking about Mashiach, what's the what, what's Baal Shem is saying? What's the what's the dark dark of Mashiach? Which really Darizal says that because Ari says that Moshe Rabbein is bechinas das. That's the whole goal of Mitzrayim is bechinas Moshe. Moshe is Moshe Shilo. Google Yishu Google Achren. Really, the idea of Mashiach means something that gives a lebedikait. Someone says, "I understand why you're living," and if you understand why you're living, everything becomes tchia. The reason why things die and things are dead is because there's no chayes. The reason no chayes because no das. Chayes shem. What? Or the shame of Chayas. You're always good for something. So you're good for these type of. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's the word. And then he says, This is already another another connection. This word that if you actually go to the place of the begin of Ayin. Which means, this is already a little, a little bit. If if the place of machshava by definition means the abstraction of something, which is the place before it's formed, what is a tsara? A tsara means a hardship is when you're living in the place of the drama of the experience, right? In other words, there's nothing. It's very hard to say this, but there is there is a, there's a difference between pain and suffering, okay? Pain is a, is a natural event. Suffering is a psychological event. Okay, you can all you, suffering is optional. Is optional. In other words, the, and the more you're attached to something, the more pain, you, the more suffering you experience. If let's say you're attached to your pinky, which you should be, I'm not saying you shouldn't. And the chatz you you have to lose your pinky. This is just to give an example. So you, there's, <coughs> there's a lot of pain <coughs> because I'm so attached to it. I feel pain. Reb Sadi Gaon Amuna Days says that uh, that um, that. Uh, that Chibut HaKever, what, what is, what, what, what's brought down in the Russian and the Zoya talks about Chibut HaKever after a person passes on, is a kosher rimel lemes. Because I'll say a kosher rimel lemes, that, that, that uh, uh, a rimel, like a, a, a worms, is, is difficult to the body, is a very, diff- is very, very challenging. It's very hard for the body. So the, the Rapsadi Gamun day says, what does, what does this mean? It means, for example, a mushal. Says your consciousness is no longer in your body. So what does it mean? The kashal in the mess. Your consciousness is not in the body. You can you can poke a dead person. Doesn't feel anything. But what does it mean? It means like this. Imagine a person has a house and they're very attached to their house. And one day they walk by their house and the house is on fire. So it depends how much attached you are to the house. If it's a house that I, you love living in and you were brought up in this house and you're very identified with this house, you're gonna experience the pain 
of the house burning as if it's your own personal pain. You're going to feel the pain in your body. But if it's a house that maybe you're not interested in, and maybe actually you started the fire or something, whatever, that there's a chas v'shol. But if something happened that you were misad or something, and it, so then, then, then it's going to be a different story, right? Because you don't want the house. In other words, it, it depends on your relationship to the object. That's going to be the pain, you're, the suffering that you're experiencing. So the das is what informs the, the, the suffering. If I have a das that attaches me to something and my, I'm a kusher this, to this thing, then I experience more suffering. If I have less iskashas to this thing, less connection to this thing, I experience less suffering. So if you can take, conceptually, the ani, which is the, the malchus, the revealing of the thing the way it is, and totally detach yourself, abstract detachment, because on the level of machshava, you're actually not connected to it. And do that in a mental state, to go to the Bechina of Ayin, that you're totally not connected to it, then there's no longer any Tzor. And that, and that actually is part of the the, the, the transformation of the Tzor itself. So the Chibet HaKever, we're going back to that. Yeah, Chibet HaKever means that the body the body feels, the, the kosher, that it's that the body feels its pain of being decomposed. So the Rapsadi Gon says, it's not that the body itself feels, it's the consciousness of the body that's related to the body. And according, that's why a tzaddik doesn't experience Chibut HaKever. If you pass away, Erev Shabbos doesn't experience Chibut HaKever. All these understandings means because the less you're attached to it, the less you experience it. If you found this, this is the Nekudah. So Pekitza, this is the idea of the Yichud. The Yichud, the yichud means a Yichud, a Yichud Pnimi. A Yichud Pnimi. Now, One, we'll read another. We're getting it's getting a little late. Let's read this a little quickly. Alekim Tamba Midbahar Shemait Me Adoni Avi Zikni Zal. So this is the Dagel talking. That um, so not only is the I'm talking about Din. Pay some Chalaf. It's Balshal. I'll tell you, Yisrael from the Dagel Parshas Balshalach. Ois Memches. Ois Memches. Yeah. I tell you, Midbahar Haynu Shutfil Hashem Yisbarach Shiyitin Hashem Har. I know, what does it mean? Alakim ten ba midbar har. Alakim give in the midbar har. What does it mean? She yit and har. The high no arish. Har means the rish. Har is the head. The rish. The the head. Shu chachma. Al derech siv rish is chachma. To give me the wisdom. But midbar high no bedibur. To give me the wisdom and speech. That's a loy. She yichud dibur shu b'malchus seif kama dreges in malchus in im chachma. That there should be a yichud between my dibur, my speech, the midbar. My external expression should be connected in a place of yichud with the place of chachma. Piv v'liv v'shavim. Right. V'zei yichud yur d'shoyna shel aviyya baruchu im yud achrenu shashem adnai. That's the yichud of the yud kevavke and the shem adnai. That's the, the higher and the lower. Right? The piv and the, the, the bris. Yeah, right? V'zei soif ma'is mochshav v'tchila. Hanei yud shal adnai yisachim mochshav v'tchila shi yud d'shoyna shashem adnai. V'az yigul l'shleima. This is Mamash like this. This is going to be. This is the redemption. What's the redemption? I don't know if he's talking about the Karva Nafshi Gola, the personal redemption. But the Nakuda of the redemption is when there's a complete movement from the, between the high and the low. That's the whole. The whole problem is that's the Pukakim. There's the separations. When a person knows one thing, doesn't feel it. Feels something, doesn't know it. Understands it, but doesn't really know it internally. These are all the tzavarim. These are all the garn, the mates are garn. These are the constrictions of the of the throat that are now allowing the head to penetrate the heart. But when there's a complete flow and movement, then then there's redemption. Then there's actually gula, and not only is there redemption, but page two page later, there's some of Zion. Not only is there redemption. From the Dun Masada. You see it? Yeah. This is on this week's parsha. Dibur actually through sp is a word from the Bosha, there's a the language of Bashan. When a person speaks, you're giving your chais, right? You're giving your 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 koyach, your your thoughts, your feelings, you're being you're you're being expressive in your in your words. Raka ide dibur kidusha toyvit fila. However, when you speak words of Torah and Tefillah, when you speak Torah and Tefillah, when you talk, 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 which means like this, that the movement is not only flowing from your racious Chachma, from the highest level of your Chachma, the, the highest level of your understanding, of the Ayin, and it goes from the Machshava to the Dibur to the Mice and it's flowing outwards, but not when it comes outwards, it becomes, it stops. Because that's also Pekak. 
That's also a stoppage. The whole idea of, of, of the bracha and kedusha means that it's, it's, it's moving. It's cycling. How does it cycle? See, if I speak words, or you speak, or someone speaks words, and they're not speaking from a level of, of, of kedusha, of real, of, of, of transparent, if you see that it's really taka moving through them, and let's say a person talks and like tries to, you know, sound sophisticated or try to sound sound good or says the the, 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 the thing that people think they want to want to hear all these types of type of types of speech yeah you know, the Ram has like the five definitions of speech it's like diff- different types of speech that a person says if a person talks in the lower level of speech then you gave out your highest and it ends and therefore you feel depleted that's why sometimes you talk sometimes you feel depleted of energy but when you talk with with kedusha, which means that it's flowing through you then it's the highest thoughts of your life then who's really talking on the real big picture, again, on the level of Kiddusha, which is the Yichud, of Yichud, Bracha, and Kiddusha, right? Who's talking? The Abish is talking through you. You're just passing the information. That's the highest Ratz of the Shoyv. The highest is Ratz of the Shoyv. is continuously cycling. So when a person is connected to the Shoyrish, so they're speaking the words that are coming out through them, through the Machshav Adibra it goes from the heart, from the Moyach to the Lev. It's moving out of them. It moves from the other person because the person is the Makabal, he's a Talmud Hagen, let's say, and he's a, he's a, he's a proper Talmud, he's receiving those words, and then it's, it's, it circulates. So it's Zerotz of Ashur, they're going and returning. That's because it's, it's Kedusha. So the Yichud, when a person is in a state of Yichud, internally, the Yichud means the Yichud of the Machshav and his Dibur. Right, the unification between his machshav and his dibur. When a person is in the place of the yichud machshav and his dibur, then his dibur comes out by kedusha, which means that it's misrabe. It becomes a baruch. Then it's miskabel by the kedusha, which means it goes back to the place of the yichud, and it goes back to the place of yichud. He has vaitachayes. The yichud brach kedusha creates more yichud brach kedusha. You understand? This is the chayes keeps on cycling. This is this is one mahalach of the balshem that the that the idea of the yichud brach kedusha. We're not talking about zma. We're talking about the nefesh. In the nefesh adam is to create a yichud between your machshava and your dibur, between your thought and your, and your speech, between your machshava dibur and of course, between your, your thoughts and your speech, and your actions to create the yichud. When you create the yichud, then there's going to be a bracha, there's going to be misraba, and there's going to be kedusha, and there's misraba, and there's going to be kedusha, and there's going to be kedusha, and there's going to be more and more and more and more. And you're 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 like a mayan, you're just like a well that keeps on giving. That's when a person when a person that's what the mashiach and the geula and mapti koladinim. There's like a lot of very big words that the balshem promises. Because if you understand this, Bidaka, if you understand what the Bolshem is saying, that's the that's, that's the Amos Let me toss it. Of course, this is, the, this is the way it is. There's one other Mahalach, which goes back to Kavanah Samikva. We're not gonna we're not gonna get in Barichas, but just just to touch it because it's Mamish these Oisias, which is like this. That uh, which one is it? Bolshem Al Tei Okay. So Kabbalah and Moir is So the is a Siddur of Kavanas of Balsham. One and Tamid of Balsham wrote the Kavanas. See, right? Levata Chalamra. Tamavata Chalamra. It's a lot to Cholim Ra, but, but, but in Kavanas, we don't have it here, but in Parshish Yisrael, it brings down, there's a long Arichas on this, if you want to look later, Parshish Yisrael, which is Kavanas HaMikvah, and if you look in the Sefer, also say the Mikvah, or so whatever it's called, it also talks about the senior by Arichas. It's for all the Vata Cholim Ra, all, all negative things. It's, it's, the Vata Cholim Ra is an example, what if you want to break something that's negative. So it says, Yechav Le'yachat Shem Yud Beis Kof, this, to Mechav in this name, to have intention for this name. Shem Gimel Shemas. These names, Yud Beis Kuf, is, this, is these three names. What's the three names? The Mikvah Kazeh. Karka Mikvah Sho'oy The Karka, the Mikvah that you're standing, is Shem Adnai. Shem Adnai is the place that you are. That's the Karka, the Karka Mikvah. The Karka Mikvah doesn't matter you. Karka Mikvah is, I enter into the Mikvah. I enter who I am. My full self enters it. The Karka is, my, is the ground of my being. That's the Shem Alat Al Nunun. Here he says um, but in the in the in the in the Kedushas Levi, the end of Kedushas Levi on others, the lotion of the Kedushas Levi also in B'shem Balshem is that the Mayim is a Shem Avia. 
Let's we'll see a second over here. It's a lashon over here. It's a. Shabik dek dal leis hashem avai dal ruchas shalom mikvun dek hashem avai baruchu varkarka mikvun dek hashem adai. So dal ruchas shalom mikvun dek dal dal leis hashem avai. The walls of the mikvah. Okay, so the somehow that what's surrounding you. Vamayim shetoyvul boy maroshim mechas maroshim boy who are moichin harei eka. That's the name eka. That's that's alaf yud he. These three names, Shema Adnai, Shem Adnai, Havaya, and Eke, who gematria Yabak. That's the gematria. The ta, the roof. Why the roof? Because according to the, according to the many poskim, the Taras Hamikveh doesn't come in the water. The Kasmishan says it's a Toysvis, that the, the Taras Hamikveh actually comes when you're exiting the water. So let's say you're in the water technically and you're already toiled. Uh, you're, let's say, I mean, you didn't get out. Let's say you're sitting in the, under the water, you're still not toy. You're not tome. But the tahara actually comes when you're emerging from the mikveh, from the ga, from the gag, from the gaga, from the gaga uh, of, of the mikveh, which means like this, in very in very simple language. And he says that v'kam l'chavin shem eled shem eled is alaf lamad which is one of the seventy two shemus, which is gibatcha shem agla, which is ati gibalenam hashem, which is the name of, of revealing. And uh, okay, then you do eke with alaf lamad you do okay, so it's, okay, that's the idea of leda that becomes the possibility of birth. The kids are like this, very, very simple, and strip, stripped in a very simple language. What the Balshem is saying, the Kavanos of Balshem, this is brought down again, it's brought down, the Altar brings down the Siddur, and all Tamid Amagah bring it down, Mishem Balshem, the, the Mora Naim brings it down, that in order for you to, to transform, you have to make a Yichud. A Yichud means you have to own it. Whatever the situation is, wherever you are. So we're talking about Yichud first in the Machshav and Dibra Maisa internally. But Yichud also means you have to make a Yichud with your life. If you look in the Kesem Oifin, from the Kamar in the beginning of Megillah, there's a lot, a lot of sources of this, from B'Shem Abashem, which means to own what, who are you? You want to change? Verbisto, who are you? Own it. Stand on the, on the floor of the Mikveh with the Shem Adnai. With the Shem Adnai means, who am I standing right now? Right, that's that's the the, the the to own to own the process. If you can own the process and then practice shema vaya, which means I let go. That's the 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 machshava, the ayim. I let go. Shem eka means I become something else. Eka asher eka. That's the the tahara, the purity that comes when I come out of the mikvah. If I can own it and I can let go and I can choose to 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 emerge out of it, then I can create a bracha and a kedusha to everything in my life. So the yichud, if I can, if I can make a yichud with that aspect of my life and say, okay, I stumbled, I was even aware. Okay, fine, whatever. The neighbor has your chesed but you stumbled. You say, I'm a responsible being. I'm owning my life. I'm taking responsibility. I'm taking. I'm taking responsibility for who I am right now in this world. I own it. If I own it, then I can get rid of it. If I don't own it, I can't get rid of it. Right, so if you want zdoinus nasal kizachias, you want it to transform the zdoinus nasal kizachias. There's a word from the from the Kalas Yaakov writes, one of the Talmidim of the that the word oineg is the gematria of shem yaboik with the letters. So it's kufchav dalad. That uh, that the, the pleasure, the pleasure of something, is, you know, you know. This idea of ain't simcha is katharsis vegas. There's no greater joy than the, the resolution of doubt. Chuvas um, That the idea of, you know, when you lose something and then you find it, the finding of something that you lost is much greater experience than only the thing that you never lost. Let's say you lose your keys. I don't know today, it's not such a big deal. But let's say you lose your keys. You can't, you can't find, you can't drive. You have to go somewhere, you can't find your keys. Your kid, the chavais, took the keys and threw them in the garbage. And you're looking all over the house. And finally, an hour later, mazel tov, you found the keys. Agrees the simcha shtetl. Or you can't find a you can't, because when you lose something and then you you regain it, that's the greatest source. That's the greatest pleasure. So when a person does yichud with who they are, owns it, takes responsibility and owns it. Say, yeah, that's who I am. I'm taking full responsibility. Doesn't mean it's that doesn't mean that it's me. I can let go of it. It's what I did. It's not who I am. So I can, so let's rephrase that. That's not who I am. It's what I did. I own what I did. I own I own my life. I own the I take responsibility for the actions that I took. It's not me. I could separate myself from that. That's the machshava. That's the shem avaya, right? I separate from myself and says, okay, that's something that I am, that I did, but it's not who I am. When I can separate myself and say that's the person that I am, but not the thing that I did, 
and I can emerge, emerge a different person to choose to be live a different way, I can actually look back at those things that were mistakes, the Zdonius, and now I can see it as a bracha and something that's holy. And it's not so like I can see it as a bracha. Why? Because that was misraba me. I became much that's why it's that's why that's that uh, that that a Baltruva is, is great in its time. Why what's the mile of the Baltruva? The Baltruva actually has the Natsoitis of the Haveras. I'm not saying you know you know the you know how to do that. But if in in, in in from a high perspective you'll say that the reason why Baltruva is even higher than a tzaddik, right? Why? Because the Baltruva actually includes things that the tzaddik was never able to include. Because because Baltruva has this dynamic also. He has the Natsoitis that, that the tzaddik doesn't have the potential to, to elevate. So those things that were first seen as a stumbling block, those are things that, that, that cause you to stumble, that cause you to fall, those things when I create a yichud with them, then I separate from them, and then I do tshuva from, from, the, from them, and then I reach a higher madrega, then I can see it as a bracha. I can see those things are actually the, 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 the points that misrabah by me, the points that, that force growth to me, and therefore I can see it as, davr, as, as something that's holy, that's davr kedusha. So that's, that's the more pnimius a more inner way of to understand the Yichud Baruch Kedusha. You can see it from a very high perspective in terms of time. You can see from Yichud Baruch Kedusha in terms of the inner part of the self, the movement of the flow, or you can see actually in terms of a person's actions, how a person relates to life, to see the Yichud Baruch Kedusha. This is what Yaakov Avinu was telling us. The Yaakov Avinu was that he was he was Ish Tom, and then he comes to Ish Shalem. The reason why he reached the Shleim of is because Yaakov Avinu Taka went to Makom to the place of darkness, and in Lavan Garti, and all the difficulties of living by Lavan, all the challenges that he had by Lavan. And when he came home, and despite everything, all those injuries and everything that happened to him, he was still able to come home. That's the, that's the higher mandarin of Shlemus. That's the yeah, Mavar Yavak. He, he, he went through hardship, but he didn't. He was not on on the other side. You mean he didn't, was not Nichshol and Averis? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm saying, but the Nkud is that. The Nkud is the, Nkud is the same thing. God, the Teferis Yonis, the Yonis and Aibshitz Tainas. I mean, so it's uh, only, I can't say it, but he says this. He says that uh, that Gidam Nosha is Moloshin Noshim, and Yaakov married many women, mm-hmm. and Kinir, there was a shtickle defect in Yaakov, this aspect of his life. And Bemela, that's that's uh, <laughs> only only that place means that was the place of the Chesarn. And he says, therefore, Yaakov really should be been Zoycha to have 13 sons, which is Echad. Which is Gematya Echad, which means that it would have been Shlemus of Echad. Instead, he had Yud Beis, which is Yud Beis Gvulei Alachsim, which represents the world of separation. He wasn't able, he wasn't Zoicha. And, uh, and that shows that it was a Shtikl Chesar in Yaakov. As I said, I'm not uh, saying, but this is, this, there is some the Kuda of that, the, the possibility of that uh, of that way of understanding it, on, on, on whatever level you want to understand. Lefiar Yaakov, you know. But uh, this is the this is the this is the Yichud Bracha Kedusha. This is Mavi Yavik. We have to go through our own Mavi Yavik. Sometimes you have to go to the Pachim Ketan and this is the Chalik Pachim Ketan. You go to the small little jugs of oil to pick up the things that we left across and across the road. And to do that, you have to be Yavasi Yaakov You have to do it on your own. You have to do it on your own. No one's going to help you. Lach Lachal the Kedusha Levi says Lach Lachal Lach means not only you should go La Noschal La Tevaschal. This is all Rashi, right? But Lach Lachal means to journey, you got to take a journey on your own. Lech lecha, levatcha. If you want to, want to really make something out of your life, you can look around to see what's going on. You know, what, what is the, what are the other travelers? What are the other experiencing? But the real journey is levatcha. Vayvasi yaka levade, kinniskav shmei levade. Alich tike hele geshavas. No, you're very quiet. Yeah. What's up, Bobo? Yeah. Yeah. So I want. I we really want to talk about a little bit. Of, we really have to go into another little sugya, which is which is Achna of Dalam Taka. Yeah. Which is another three, which is related to like Achna of Dalam Taka, which is also connected to Shemya, to Yichud Bracha Kedusha, that the Balshem is, is connects these three things. So Achna of Dalam Taka means Achna means. Again, it can be read. It can be understood in, in two ways. It can be understood with the Oasis himself, or it can be understood in a in a nefesh level. The achna means I I am machni myself to the concept that it exists. The avdol means I separate myself from it. 
it's not who I am, it's what I've done. That leads to the madrega of Hamtaka, which is the sweetening. So the ownership is the first step, step because if you don't own it, okay, so the, why, why should I take responsibility? It's, it's, it's over. No, achna of dollar. You need achna to create of dollar to create of talker. If you get stuck in one of the steps, it's a problem. Can you say that uh, that uh, that uh, you, you were saying that the adnas, so the floor of the mikvah, yeah. is like the yichud, and then you got kind of yeah. So the ekishim ekia would be the hiskalos afterwards. Correct. Correct. That's what Shem. That's that's that's, so that's, that's what Shem is the future. Exactly. That's the word. So the new the new tzura of the myself new tzura, correct. can't accept what was correct. It includes. That's why Shem is the name, the name, the name of the Lost Lavi. And and the the, the Tzachnas Paneach says that there's a hamshacha, that just like the Shem and the the water of the mikvah goes with you. It correct. Continuously matter you. Correct. 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 That's why there's a mini mini chassidim to mini. It's mini makabalim to. Not to wash, not to dry yourself completely. Some chassidim don't dry themselves completely. This is already. I saw the the Rebbe writes a letter that um, that it's uh, the Gemara says you should not allowed to, you're not allowed to have wet feet. So you have to make sure that you, at least you dry your feet. Um, but the Rebbe says that the Rebbe says that you should not dry yourself. Okay, that's already. Take one spot in your body. And don't dry that spot, and that would be the shame. Kedusha samik for that. You don't do it. You got the the the, the, the minig is actually with uh, on Shabbos, on mikvah on Shabbos. But I saw by a sefer called Sriel Geffen by uh, Scheinfeld. You know what it is? A makubal that lives. And I just saw. Yeah, he lives. He, he, he likes to play with toothpicks. Yeah, he's a, I, yeah, he's a he's a big Talmud Chacham. He he's, he he's, he sits by uh, Yirmiya on of his kever, and he writes for like twenty swarm, right? So, yeah, Yirmiya. I think no? I'm David's close There's Yirmiya. No, where's where's the kever? Everyone goes to Yerushalayim. Ashmula Navi. I'm sorry, Ashmula It's maybe Rochav Yirmiya, maybe. No, it's not Rochav Yirmiya. It's Shmuel Navi. I'm sorry, Shmuel Navi's kever. He sits by Shmuel Navi's kever. And he sits on rights. He's an old dude. He's probably in his nineties now. Over here, there he brought him down that you should even do bechol, not to dry yourself completely. But if you want to do this correct, like a balabas, like a mensch, then one part of your body dedicated this part. This you can dedicate different parts. This part, you're not going to wash your hand, your feet, and not your feet, the ankle, the ankle. Not your ankle. That's what yeah. usually says. Yeah, yeah, the ankle generally, because that's a place that's, um, yeah. Shine. So, in, in terms yeah. of, of turning in the mikvah, you know, there's some people who dip the mikvah, but they stick out hand and do like this. Multiple that's you do tefillas. You can get a bunch of tefillas. Yeah, but you can technically dip your whole body. Yeah, that's bad. I it. So this is just an easier way out. Right? <laughs> yeah. So you, because you, so, yeah. Is it is it legitimate? Is it a real? I gotta saw people. Uh, some poskim say it is. Some people say it's not. It's like a. I went through a long period of time where I was very into it. it just with your finger. My finger, it's and then a at a certain of, point, it just didn't. It doesn't feel, feel right. Didn't feel nachon. Yeah. It didn't feel accurate. No. It feels like a cheat code. You know? No, it's like you, you feel like your bomb's going out. Then you just not else. really, not really. Yeah. And also, it doesn't work with like shame ekia and like your head but breaking through. That, right. Like like you said that the the tahara only occurs when, when you're you coming out. You come out. Right. So yeah. you technically don't come out. Okay, the finger is starting to come out. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of the tire. The the tie the finger, yeah. You will tie the finger. When you come around, you're using your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Your hand. Yeah. It's interesting that the Kedusha it seems like it's basically Bidogma like Yaakov because Kedushin or Kedush Yaakov, there's Davka. It's Davka Yaakov, no, Via Valley, yeah, yeah, Davka Yaakov. Yeah, 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 yeah. Noira, Kedusha, the same thing, Noira is But the Yaakov had huh? brought the Kedusha of life. And, and what the Rabbi is saying. The same word. The same word, the same word. No, it says in all Kedushas form. Yeah. They use different noises, but it's the same word. It's all the same word. The Yaakov is Maktish, everything. That was the Kedushas of Yaakov. That includes, that includes the Pratim of Rome. Chesed Gur Yaakov is Tiferes Yaakov is Eskalos Yaakov is Yeah That's why Yaakov is, your, is also Yer Legolos Yaakov goes on to Golos It's not good to be in a Jolos Oz Yibaka Keshachar Yerecha Yaakov is also Yibaka It's like the oil that's that's revealed in the darkness The Yud Baka Or what did you say? The Yud 
Brachar Kedusha. Yichud Kedusha. No, the Rebbe is the. The Rebbe is there to show you how you're supposed to do it on your own. <laughs> Someone they, they they came to the Rebbe once uh, when I was uh, many years ago, a few the 1950s, came to the Lavich Rebbe and they asked him, "What's the job? What's the job of a, of a Rebbe?" He said so something that uh, the job of a Rebbe is to is is to give a person a match. A match, but they have to light on their own. Mm-hmm. And if the cancer mice, the person was in Yechidus, and then by the end of Yechidus, there was the, Rebbe, the person said, Oh, the Rebbe lit my candle. He says, No, 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 I just gave you the match. Mm-hmm. That's not a lighting candle, but you have to light your match. I'll give you the candle. You know, there's a vote, there's a there's a more like a marshal about a Rebbe. I think the Oriel Mayor brings it down. There's, a, there's many early so they can bring down Shem Al Shem that there was a marshal that there was a there was a there was a Argument. It was a fight in the in the watering hole. That the lion usually gets the first first to serve, and some well, a few little animals came before the lion and drank up the water, and uh, the lion was really upset and was going to you know show he's the boss, he's the king, and the animals were very afraid that the lions are angry, they don't know what to do, so they go over to the fox. The fox is the wise animal, Chazal. <coughs> they go over to the fox and say, the fox, can you speak to the lion to like appease us, like you know we should make peace with the king. He says, actually, it's uh, I have a, I actually have three thousand um, shalom, beautiful parables that I love to tell. I'll tell it to the king. I'll tell the lion. The lion's gonna be very happy with them. He's gonna smile and he'll say, yeah, you're all forgiven. So they all line up behind the fox and they're going towards the water. And the, the, the lion's standing there, and they're like three hundred feet away, and they they, they walk a hundred feet, and the fox turns around and says, I don't. My mind is not sharp today. I only remember a thousand stories. So a thousand stories. How long are you going to be there? A thousand stories is fine. Remember, a thousand stories were good. He goes another, you know, 100 feet and he says, uh, I don't know, I just forgot. I just, I only know 500 stories. And as they're getting closer and closer, he keeps on forgetting more and more. And he's like two feet away, he says he has, you know, five stories. A foot away, he says he has two stories. He's one foot away, he's right in front of the king and he turns around and he says, I have one story left. He says, okay, so tell the story, this is going to be the greatest story. And he goes right in front of the king, he opens his mouth and says, uh, he turns around and says, I've got all the stories and he runs away. So the Hashem said, that's a rabbi. You understand? That's, what? that's a rabbi. The rabbi gives you the courage that allows you to get to the point that you're going to speak to the king. He said, me, I'm going to speak to the king. I'm going to speak to the king. Oh, the rabbi's going to talk to me. Okay, I'll, I'll halt him. Call, let's mm-hmm. go. And we'll go to the king. He gets to the king. And the rabbi says, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it yourself. That's, that's, that's the... That's the avoid. The avoid is uh, ultimately... Uh, I saw there's a Maimur Kotz of Nalter Rebbe. Nalter Rebbe writes. It's a very powerful thing. He says that someone that says that you can rely on, on the Rebbe for Yeruchnius, that he'll take care of, the, of Yeruchnius, is bedugma a carrot, a kroim. Is veshit is a kroim. It's like the, the mahalach of the kroim, the carrots. Because the carrot says only Toshul Ksav, no Toshul Ksav. Toshul Ksav is Toshul Ksav, whatever Hashem gave us. We're not participating.